we love one another and suppose supposing i hate kumar for some reason or i'm jealous of kumar why is the ig i have not got that position look at ig he's got this that you know i keep on hating him and ha- try to harm him to see that his chair is removed and i get into that chair now my cells get confused what's this fellow doing i love kumar cells and why is he hating kumar after some time if i keep on doing that my cells start hating me this is called auto immune disease horror auto toxicus what do we do we suppress the immune system further with some steroids temporarily putting a lid on that but really the immune system has to be helped how do you do that you simply find or i tell you i had a patient with the irritable bowel syndrome and ulcerative colitis and all kinds of things very stiff like uh, you know a big uh, bureaucrat but he has to go to the toilet every time he has a meeting with the prime minister or the minister he has to go to the toilet so and this was a problem so he came to me one day and i said look simply he has taken all kinds of things salazapirin to steroids to everything so i told him you just take one week off and sit with your wife in a room only two of you and make a list of people who hated you harmed you just you know really hurt them and make a list and come to me cuz no, no no i don't hate nobody you know I, nothing i said no you just sit think you know if you think probably you will get some so he came with a list of about 10 people including his own boss then i said you now meditate sit in meditation quiet room and go on saying let me love those people after all what is there in life life is short we should love each other not hate each other and you simply keep on doing this and you would be surprised he has no symptoms now at all he can eat anything under the sun formerly my god his eating was so difficult i have not done anything i said don't take steroids and suppress your immune system boost your immune system that's the essence of ayurveda swasthasya swastha rakshitam preserve the wellness of the healthy and you just do that and today he is so happy i tell you he comes to me and says doctor you saved me i said i didn't save you you saved yourself i didn't do anything if you had not found out whom you hated and whom you wanted to destroy and whom you wanted to sit on top now if they you have forgotten them and forgiven them that's all that's it you have become god now i always tell my students what's the difference between god and man man gets and forgets man gives and forgives so become a man to god you give and forgive if you remember what you have given that fellow will hurt you and you will get a heart attack you see oh my itna kiya usko wo kya karta hai humko dhamki deta hai so you get a heart attack because it's always that persons whom you help are the ones who hate you because supposing let us say i have come up in life because uh, of our vice chancellor helping me when i was young let us say today i am somebody sit standing here and talking now i i am always worried will this vice chancellor tell the audience afterwards you know this boy i helped him to come up in life so instead of what i do is when he becomes a vice chancellor i start a, the campaign in surat that vice chancellor fellow is very bad fellow you know he is a, he is a big liar don't believe what he says he is a pakka bad man see how how nicely i have, I have i think i have saved my skin by saying that the vice chancellor is a bad man so if he says this boy i made him come up in life people won't believe it that's the idea but i always hate people whom you have helped that's why i say be god what's the difference give and forgive you don't get and forget if you get and forget you are the greatest sinner this is what mahabharata says everybody after the mahabharata yuddha they were going to heaven so yaksha asked them one question one question if you answer you go to hell heaven or you die here so all pandava brothers died including their dog then the term of the eldest brother came a very nice man so yaksha said look one extra condition if you answer the question right all of your brothers also and your wife everybody will go to heaven otherwise all will die here so he said go ahead so yaksha said what is the greatest sin that man can commit so immediately without batting an eyelid said ingratitude and all of them went to heaven if you are grateful to people i'll tell you your immune system gets boosted so much that you really don't get any disease it is not what you eat that kills you don't worry cholesterol is very good it is what eats you that kills you your negative thoughts every morning you have this 
ಕ್ರೋಧ ಶೋಕ ಭಯ ಆಯಾಸ ವಿರುದ್ಧ ಅನ್ನ ಭೋಜನ ತಪೋ ನಲ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ತಪಸ್ ಕಟ್ಟು ಆಮ್ಲಕ್ಷಾರ ಲವಣ ತೀಕ್ಷ್ಣೋಷ್ಣತೆ ರಕ್ತ ಪಿತ್ತ ಪ್ರಕೋಪ ಆಲ್ ಡಿಸೀಸಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ವೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ನೆವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ we doctors have been fooling the world saying that the mind is in the brain ever since wilder penfield a canadian neurosurgeon operating on awake patients under anesthesia he used to tickle the part of the brain and the hand used to move is it ah hand brain is controlling everything then the little leg, leg goes to move then is it epilepsy patients they have this because there is a spot in the brain so brain became the seat of the mind and this has been continuing though Wilder Penfield in 1971 wrote, I am sorry, I did a big mistake. He got the Nobel Prize for saying that. He got the Nobel Prize for saying that the brain is the seat to the mind. Now he in 71 wrote, I am sorry, the brain can't even generate a thought, forget about the mind. Mind is too big a thing for this 100 trillion cells in the brain and the synapses, another 200 trillion synapses. It can't even produce a thought. Mind is something vast, it's very big, the part of this universal consciousness. and when consciousness came into science we understood that most of the science is wrong you will be surprised if i do an experiment on a rat or a dog or whatever we do this and they let us say this girl sweet girl who does counseling um sucheta right see not bad eh? sucheta does the same thing the results can as different as 40% most of her studies are wrong because it is done by different people because her consciousness and the rat's consciousness interact and my consciousness and the rat's consciousness interact my consciousness is different from sucheta's consciousness the rat also two rats have two different consciousness they have their own perception it's called biocentrism and all the results that we have done are wrong i'll give you an example some years ago when i was young suddenly from america a fascinating drug came for heart failure called milrinone not done any human studies immediately they said oh, this is a fantastic drug it saves heart failure patients and they had studied in the rats rats heart failure milrinone is a fantastic drug so without doing human studies they found somehow or other cajoled the coax the fda to pass the drug would you believe next day bombay big cardiologist one stethoscope here and one here and then you know they go around the bombay city they started writing milrinone one tablet those days was 125 rupees it has to come from america so they started everybody started writing i wrote an article saying that milrinone scientifically looks like a very bad drug for heart failure of course i was abused very quickly they started a human study called the promis study prospective randomized milrinone survival evaluation which showed milrinone patient patients had 37% more deaths because further studies showed that in a rat milrinone works as a peripheral vasodilator lowers your blood pressure and reduces the work of the heart so the, the heart failure decreases but in human beings it works as a cyclic amp stimulator so a dying heart it goes on weeping and the heart dies of arrhythmia so milrinone is withdrawn before that we have killed millions of people so what happens is you you jump on the drug i always tell my young students don't start using a new drug at least for 5 years after it is introduced in america so in most of the side effects come after 3 4 years we study it for only 6 months before we release it on the gullible public so i tell them if you are a good doctor you will only rely on old medicines now we have doctors yesterday's medicine is today prescribed and we don't know the side effects at all and this is a very bad thing to happen anyway it happens now ultimately what do you need for survival do you need doctors do you need hospitals do you need medicines no you need a clean mind clean mind do you clean your mind you clean your body many of you take bath twice you know in our part where it is very hot and humid i take sometimes four or five times bath because each time you go out your shirt and vest is all wet so you come back and have a shower you feel so, so comfortable but have i clean my mind rarely we do that how do you clean your mind what soap is good what shampoo will be very nice simple shampoo is sit every day quietly in a room without any disturbance and think of all the good things you have done and all the bad things you have done now all the bad thoughts that have gone through your mind you replace a bad thought with a good thought 
This is what's called bathing your mind. I've written an article, Bath for the Mind. Please read that. What I do is, I just sit for meditation and say, okay, if I've hated somebody, I say, let the Vice Chancellor become very healthy. Let me not hate our Vice Chancellor. Or Kumar, let him get promoted as the DGP of Gujarat. Let him go up in the ladder. My blood pressure comes down because I have cleaned my mind. So mind runs the body. Who is the body? Mind is the body. Where is the body? Mind is the body. So there is nothing called mind-body medicine. Mind is body, body is mind. E is equal to M. 